I just realized that it's getting to that time of weather where it's too cold to be wearing basketball jerseys at night. I feel a sore throat right now, so probably got a good cold coming. I hope not, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully I'll live. Hey everybody, what's up? So this is your homie Chicano Chingu here reporting from beautiful South Korea. So today I got some special plan for you guys. So right now we have Autumn Festival right now. So it's like a big shindig for all the students here. They're gonna have a live performance here by some kind of K-pop artist over at the soccer field. First we're gonna go to like the basketball courts here at Dongguk and we're gonna, I got some food and like a flea market I guess. So we're gonna check everything out here first. Right now I'm accompanied by my homie, my roommate, Quentin. What's up? Quentin is about like the coolest French dude I've ever met, so he's just been chilling, bunking together at the dorms and stuff. So, yeah, so I'll show you guys around here. We'll see what they got here at the square. Alrighty guys, so we got here the chicken on a stick. I was kind of looking forward to having some of this when I got back here. I feel like I didn't get enough of it last time I was here, so on this real quick. So what do you think about Korea so far, bro? Like, what are your thoughts about, like, since you came here to Korea? For the moment, I think it's a pretty good experience. Like, it's really different uh, compared to France. Mm -hmm. Compared to Paris, it's uh, really, really different. But yeah, I enjoy uh, the two weeks I spent here. Yeah, it was really good. So far, pretty good. What about you? I love it here, man. It's, like you said, it's like just different. Like, the cities and things, they look kind of similar. I think back to the States and some, like, big cities back in the States. But honestly, I dig it. I love it here, man. Everything, the food's here, the people are great here. Everything's cool. Do you have any advice for any any students thinking about coming to Korea? Maybe learn English because like, it's, very, <laughs> it's very important here. Mm. And if you can learn uh, Korean, I think it's... It'll help you. Yeah. Some people don't speak English, so... Uh, right. At least have, like, one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. I almost forgot if I had to do the video in Spanish or in English, I was about to speak in Spanish here. But I got a uh, Oreo churro here. I think I had them last time I was in Myeongdong, so these are actually pretty good. It's got a nice taste of churro and diabetes. These are bomb though. I mean, basically the whole gist of this is just a normal churro. You dip her in uh, like Oreo bits, like crushed up Oreo bits like you saw there. So as you guys could probably see, I so you got Chalino on me. So like I said, anytime in one of the vlogs that I'm wearing a hat, I'm gonna try to have them on me and as well. But I got the Lobo Nation hat so I can rep you and them a little bit along with their uh, basketball jersey. I had actually picked one of these up in an uh, online auction that the athletics department was having, just auctioning off all the old gear and stuff. So I managed to snag a basketball jersey. This is actually game worn so i don't know how many games there's these in game live at the pit or wherever else they play one thing i do dig about things like this is like this is a piece of history you know it's a piece of heritage it even smells still like you know it smells like dedication sweat blood and it smells, it smells like something else too um oh no no you know what yeah that's uh that's still a ravenous fury of steve alford leaving for ucla i don't think that's gonna get off anytime soon but i'll try to wash that off Alrighty guys, uh, we just got some drinks, went to the 7-Eleven here, so now we're gonna go back up, we're just gonna hang out for a little bit, so I got my homie Quentin here manning the camera for a little bit, so we'll see how he does. Later on tonight, I think from like 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock onward, there's actually gonna be like a concert here at the soccer field, so we're just gonna chill out for a little bit and just relax before that concert's up, so we'll see what's up. Alrighty guys, so me and my homie Quentin, we're going off to the soccer field here now, so we're gonna check out what's up. I kind of see it a little bit, it's really full so far, so we'll go check it out. So, so far this shindig is pretty cool, it's pretty tight, so yeah, we'll see what's up over here.
you guys so that was it uh that was the whole festival here and honestly it was fun it was cool how they had like a whole freaking concert set up there at the soccer field here so they mentioned that they were gonna have a concert here but i didn't think it was gonna be like that big i really dig it it's um this is like really the big first school led event that i've been to before in the past even counting unm like uh unm's got red rally this and that but the problem with that is i, I just never went really because logistics issues just having to drive there sp uh, spend money on gas whereas here here i did kind of have more opportunity to be able to actually attend one of these so that's pretty tight so the second lady that was there was a kami kami and then the first guy yun tan I'm not a big K-pop guy, so I really don't uh, know a whole lot of the groups here, but I don't know, they sound pretty good, they sound better than me. Like, this has just been a different experience, I guess, because like I said, I never really participated in, like, Red Rally or whatever they had at school, so this is actually new and actually pretty tight, so they're gonna have Autumn Fest here tomorrow, so I'll probably be there tomorrow, so I'll probably just get stuff on my Instagram for tomorrow, just so you guys can check it out, but yeah, in any case, thank you guys for checking out Autumn Fest with me, and I hope you like the videos. I'll see you guys in the next one then. Peace!